Hi, it's Katie. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful shell pearl necklace. So it's got this kind of scalloped effect, but then I've connected them as well just to give it a little bit more of a substantial effect. And scattered throughout we've got the sterling silver beads, which is absolutely beautiful. So everything that um, I've made has come straight from the kit. The only things extra that I've used is some white wildfire thread, my scissors and some size 10 beaded needles. Um, the clasp, I'm not going to show you the clasp because that's just basic popping the clasp and I'm going to show you this section here but the clasp is just from the kit and I've just attached it as you would do normally. Now when I'm crimping onto wildfire I tend to just crimp flat just, be, just so that we don't cause any breakages and then you know it's nice and safe. So the crimp all I've done is squash it with my pliers and it's just crimped flat but it actually gives you a nice flash of metal as well so it looks quite pretty. Okay, and just really quickly, just before we move on, the bracelet here is threaded with 0.5 elastic, which is the elasticity, which goes through all the pearls and the sterling silver beautifully. Okay, I'll move these out of the way and we'll make a start. So to begin, what I've done is I've taken a length of my wildfire thread and that is probably about five feet long, a little bit longer if you want to, just to make sure that you don't run out at all because you're going to make a few passes through here. Um, and I've also gone about 40 centimetres or so from the end and popped a stop bead. So a stop bead is where you just go through a bead twice make a little loop around it and there we go that's a stop bead. Now this piece here at the opposite side of the bead is what you're going to make the actual rest of the necklace with so the the, the straight threading so just use a different colour there and then you know that you're not going to get mixed up with any of your pearls. Okay so the first thing we're going to do is make one of the kind of scallop shapes so we're going to add one of the six millimeter pearls then an eight millimeter and then a six millimeter. So just adding those to your needle and bringing those down to your stop bead. So that's gonna be the kind of top line of each of your little scallop sections. So the next thing we need to do is add the actual scallop shape and then we'll proceed. So to do that, we're gonna add a sterling silver bead, one of your smaller shell pearls, and then we're going to add one of your six millimeters. What you'll sometimes find with shell pearls is you just kind of need to wiggle them through with your needle, but it's fine. Then we're going to add a sterling silver bead, a larger bead, another sterling silver bead, and a six mil, and a smaller one it feels like we're adding lots here but I will show you that again in a second and another sterling silver bead so what you'll have on your needle is you've got these three here so they're going to be your top line and then this is going to kind of create that swag underneath so we on here we've got sterling silver uh, one of the smaller shell pearls the medium sterling silver large sterling silver medium small and sterling silver and all we're going to do now is come back through these beads that we first added so back through those three top line beads so through all three of those and pull this and then you'll have that little scallop shape underneath there okay so to, to proceed what we need to do is we need a little bit of a connection so we're going to pop one of our larger beads on so that's going to connect to our next bead and it also keeps a consistency along the top line and then we're going to do the exact same again so I'm just going to do this once more and then I will proceed to make the rest of it and catch you up so we're going to add a medium large and medium so a six eight and a six and then we're going to add that combination again so that combination is sterling silver and then the smaller shell pearls a medium one, a sterling silver, a large, a sterling silver, medium, so it's just kind of working your way back down, medium and then a smaller one, and another sterling silver bead. Okay, so we've dropped those down 
And remember we're only going to come through those three at the top so this is our connection bead this is our actual baseline for the actual necklace so we're going to come through all three of these and then what we need to do is tighten it up so making sure we've come through all three of those pull that through and just before it gets kind of close because what you'll do is you'll end up with a gap here just kind of pull the actual loop here to so pull the loop and then pull this in and then you'll find this lays nicely so I'm going to continue I made seven scallops um, and then I will meet you back and I'll show you how we connected those together to create that extra effect so I've actually stopped at five just because it fits on the screen quite nicely and um, so I made seven in the actual necklace but you could do five if you wanted to and once you finish that last one what you would do is you would string up this side so I've just started to kind of string up that side a little bit and you would continue the pattern of the um, the larger bead and then the six mil bead and then you can make the rest of it however you want so I'm just going to come back down here so just ignore this little bit here so I'm just going to come back all the way down okay so imagining we've actually threaded all this through added our clasp and then come all the way back down and I've come back through this this line larger bead the first one that we added so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come around here and then exit this bead here so I'm exiting the the site the six mil in between on in between this gap so I'm just going to proceed around there so sometimes it takes a few seconds sometimes they go through brilliantly so we're just going to come through a few at a time so just following that bead path around so as you can see I've come all the way around this side so you will have beaded up your necklace here and then come all the way around and I'm exiting this six millimeter bead here so we're going to fill this gap here now on the necklace so that it lays nicely on the neckline this one and this one the first one and the last one are going to be slightly different so on this one all we're going to do is add one eight mil bead like so and then come straight back down through the opposite bead at this side which is the six mil here so we're going to come in here so it hopefully it'll be nice and tight together so it might take a little bit of wiggling to get everything through okay now what this does is it will it will kind of cinch it in a little bit and give you that nice bend here now the other ones will do slightly different so I'll just show you those two and then I'll show you the main necklace finished so all the way through we're going to come back around to that same point again like so so this is the bead we just had added here and on these sections all we're going to do is we're going to add one of the sterling silver beads and then an eight that's eight millimeter bead and then a sterling silver bead and that just gives it that little bit of an extra width and a, a smoother um, way around the neckline and then we're going to come through here so if I just lay that out there so like I say on the outer ones we've just got that that eight mil bead but on these ones we've added a little um sterling silver bead at each side too so I'm just going to bring that in a little bit more so you can see that there so this side we've got a sterling silver bead at each side too and then you'll continue and like I said before right at the beginning this thread here take this red bead off or whatever colour you've used and thread it up the same and when you finish just crimp with your um I would just crimp with my chain nose pliers so there we go there's the finished piece so you can see on these sections here we've got that bead at each side and just at the very first one we've just got the bead on it on its own and that will give you that nice shape around the neckline so there you go you can see all those those beautiful sterling silver beads there which kind of shimmer through it and like I said just thread up the actual um, necklace as, as you like and finish off with your clasp which is in the kit and because I'm using wildfire, like I said at the beginning, just crimp those flat and then you're not going to break that thread. But it will be very, very nice and secure. So thank you very much for watching. Take care and I will see you again soon.